This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create these interlocking letter logos using Adobe Illustrator. So we'll go ahead and get started here in Illustrator. I'm just going to create a new blank document sized at 800 by 800 pixels, and we just want to set up our canvas here so that we're all working with a similar view. Come up here to where it says View, and make sure you have nothing selected over here, nothing like Smart Guides or Snap to Pixel or anything else that'll get in the way when we're working. And then over here where it says Window, we want all of these boxes only these boxes checked control align color and transparency and that will ensure that we are all working with the similar view here on the screen with these panels opened up so the first thing i want to do is create some text a couple of letters that i want to intertwine with each other for this tutorial i'll be using the letters s and t so i'm going to be grabbing this uh, text tool right here and i'm going to click on the canvas to create some text and now I want to choose my font. The font I'm going to be using is called Sebastian, Sebastian, Sebastian Slab Round. It's a free font. I'll put a link in the description if you'd like to download and install that font. Otherwise, any font you'd like really should work. It's just a matter of how you want your logo to look with this sort of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And I'm going to go ahead and type my letters now. I'm going to type capital letters S and T. And now I want to grab the select tool up here. And I want to grab one of these corners, hold Shift and Alt, and just scale it up like that. Bring this over towards the center of the page. And now I want to convert this from a text object to an actual outline that we can work with and manipulate. So what I'm going to do is go to Type, and I'm going to click on Create Outlines. And then I'll go to Object and Ungroup. Now, if you click off of it, you'll notice these are two separate objects now. So I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to bring the opacity of them down roughly 50% just so we can see through them because we're going to be layering them on top of each other and we're going to need to see through what we're doing in order to create this effect. And I'm going to create each of these in different colors. So I'm going to take this letter right here and I'm going to make this the color red and I'm going to take this color and make it the color blue. And I'm only doing that so we can differentiate them as, as we work with them on top of each other. Now the goal here is I want to take these two letters and place them on top of each other and make them look like they're intertwined. So let me bring this over here. I'm going to hold shift to lock it onto the horizontal axis. I'm going to bring it over the letter T. And if you see, it doesn't really work well because these, these, the parts of these letters kind of get in the way of each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to alter the letter T a little bit. I'm going to raise the letter T up here and I'm going to lower it down here and I'm going to extend the arms of the T so it doesn't it doesn't really get too much in the way of the letter S. So let me zoom back out. Let me undo what I just did there by hitting Control Z. And what I want to do is I want to take just this letter T right here. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to go to the Direct Selection tool. And if you'd like to zoom in and out of the canvas like I'm doing here, you could just hold Alt and roll up and down the mouse wheel. So with the Direct Selection tool, I just want to click and drag a selection over just these nodes up here. And I want to raise this up by holding shift and just clicking and dragging. And if you notice, you can kind of just eyeball it. You can see the letter T is rising up above the letter S. And that's about, that's what I'm looking for right there. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to take these nodes, hold shift, bring them down like that. So that it's below, the, 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 uh, the base of the T is going below the letter S. And then finally, what I want to do is I want to extend these arms a little bit on each side so it goes further than the S on the horizontal axis. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag over these ones right here. And instead of just manually clicking and dragging it, I'm going to use the arrow keys because I want to make sure that the distance is the same on both sides. I want symmetry here in this letter T. So I'm going to use the arrow key about 20 clicks and do the same thing over here about 20 clicks. 20 clicks. The reason I'm doing this is because it allows me to uh, to move these nodes in a predetermined precise amount so that, that the, the letter maintains its symmetry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And there we go. That right there is what we're looking for. I'm going to grab the selection tool now. Now let me zoom back out. What I want to do next is just click and drag over both of these letters and I want to align them on the canvas. So come over here to the Align tab. Where it says Align to, just make sure you have Align to Artboard selected. And I'm going to align them on the horizontal and vertical axis like that. And if you notice, the letters are now over each other like that. So what I want to do is I want to make these letters look like they're intertwined with each other, where parts of them are going over and under each other. And to do that, I'm going to manually create some negative space here. So what I want to do is I want to make this middle arm of the letter, of the letter S here look like it's going over the T. And I want to make this 
area of the T right here, this arm of this leg of the T, look like it's going over this part of the S and this part of the S. So it's kind of like the whole thing is kind of like going over and under each other. So first, let's work on the letter S. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go to path. I mean, I'm sorry, object, path, offset path. And I want to turn on the preview so I can see what that looks like. And for this example, I'll be going with about eight pixels, I'd say. You could try out different sizes, see what looks best. 10, a little too big, eight pixels. And what I'm really paying attention to right here is this area of the letter S because this is where it's going to be creating the negative space within the T to make it look like the S is going over the T. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and hit enter or press OK like I just did. And with that selected, I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click on the letter T. And I'm going to navigate over here to the Shape Builder tool. And once we've done that, let me zoom in a little bit. I'm going to hold Alt and click on the letter T in that section where the large S is overlapping with the T like that. I'm going to hold Alt and I'm going to click it. And it's going to delete that area from both shapes. And now what I can do is grab the Selection tool, click off of the graphic to deselect everything, and then just take this enlarged letter S and then press Delete on the keyboard to get rid of it. So now we have that part done. It looks like the letter S is going over the letter T. We just now need to re repeat that process with the letter T to make it look like it's going over the letter S. So I'm going to click on this T. I'm going to go to Object, Path, Offset Path. And I'm going to make sure that I offset this by the same number of pixels. So last time I used eight pixels, I'm going to click on Preview just to make sure everything looks good there. And it does. And I'll go ahead and click OK. And now I'll hold Shift, click on the letter S. And then I'll go back to the Shape Builder tool, hold Alt and delete this area of the letter T, and then this area of the letter T as well, or the letter S rather. And what I'll do is I'll grab the, uh, the Selection tool, take this object, press Delete on the keyboard to get rid of it. And now let me zoom out a little bit. And as you can see, we're finished. All we have to do now is just select both of them, bring the opacity back up, and then you can color them in, color them in however you'd like. For this tutorial, for the thumbnail, I believe I used blue and a shade of pink like that. And there you go. That should do it for this tutorial. That's how you can go about creating those interlocking letter logos using Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.